Okay. Assalamu alaikum. So today we are going to focus on the research paradigms. So I'll cover research paradigm, difference between quantitative and qualitative research, and some of the research designs that can be used in these paradigms. Objective of this research is that uh, by the sorry, objective of this lecture is that by the end of the lecture, you will be able to identify and select the research paradigm for your research. Now, basically, there are two types of research paradigms, but some of the writers have considered that there are three types of research paradigms. Now, as you can see that I have mentioned here paradigms, traditions, strategies and choices in different books or by different uh, authors or different writers, you will find these terms for quantitative and qualitative or mixed method researches. Okay, they're uh, most of the time they are known as paradigms, but some of the writer call them as traditions, some of the writers call them as uh, uh, strategies, some of the researchers call them as choices. Okay, so you have to keep all these four uh, terms in your mind when we talk about these three terms, okay, quantitative, qualitative, and mixed method. Now, if you talk about the quantitative research, it involves data collection procedure that results primarily in numerical data, which is then analyzed primarily by statistical method. For example, survey research. So basically, quantitative research is the one where data is collected in numbers, and then it is analyzed in numerical form or the statistical form. Okay, uh, such type, I mean, uh, research type that can be included in quantitative research is survey. A best example is survey. There is another uh, research paradigm commonly known as qualitative research, which involves data collection procedures that results primarily in open ended non numerical data, which is then analyzed primarily by non statistical method. Example open ended interviews. So basically in qualitative research, the data is collected uh, in detail form. Okay, in uh, you can say in words, not in numbers, it is open ended data that is collected and it is also analyzed through non statistical method. <clears throat> Here in quantitative research, the data is collected. Uh, in the form of the numbers and analyzed through SPSS or different statistical software. It can be analyzed through Excel as well. Whereas qualitative research need to be, I mean, uh, qualitative data can be analyzed manually, okay, through content analysis or different other methods. There are some softwares as well, which can be used uh, for analyzing qualitative data, like for example, NOVA, NOVA, okay. <clears throat> Now, there is another paradigm, uh, you will find this in some of the books mentioned as mixed method research. Now, this mixed method research means the mixture of quantitative research and qualitative research. It means some of the data will be in numbers, like, for example, an, a close-ended questionnaire and then open-ended interviews. Okay, so a mixture of these two uh, will be termed as a mixed method research, okay, where there is numerical data and analyzed through statistical method and open-ended data, which can be analyzed through non-statistical method. <clears throat> now let's talk about the differences between qualitative and quantitative research. Now they can be differentiated on the basis of some of the points. Number one, their analytical objectives. That is, their objectives are different. Quantitative ka objective kuch aur hoga and qualitative ka objective totally different. Hoga because we have to collect uh, detailed, uh, I mean, the data is collected in words in qualitative data, so objective will be according to that. And quantitative research, the data is collected in numbers, that's why objective will be according to that. Okay, then the second difference is on the basis of the type of the questions they pose. The questions are always based on the objective that are designed. Okay, questions and objectives are directly linked with each other. So if the objectives are different, so obviously their questions will always be different. Now, and the third thing is the type of the data instrument, data collection instrument they use. Like, for example, in quantitative research, close ended questionnaires can be used. Okay, whereas uh, for qualitative researchers, interviews, open ended interviews can be used. Sometimes even questionnaires can be used in both, uh, both of the uh, research paradigms, but the way will be different. Like, for example, you can use a close ended questionnaire for quantitative research 
whereas you can use an open-ended questionnaire for qualitative research, okay? So data collection instrument will be used the way that they are used. Even if it is the same tool, agar questionnaire hi hai, tab bhi, wo dono ka use different hoga. Data collection procedure will be different as well, okay? So the form of the data that they produce is also different. It means quantitative research will produce uh, uh, in numbers. The data will be in numbers in uh, statistics, whereas the data that will be collected through qualitative research will be in, num in words, in details. Now, this is also important, the last point, the degree of flexibility built into the study design. Flexibility means quantitative researches are very rigid, right? If you have decided anything in the very beginning, then you cannot make any changes further as the research moves on. Okay, one thing you have starting to decide in the quantitative research is that I have to do this, I have to do this, especially in case of COSI experiments and experiments. You have designed a hypothesis that this result is uh, null hypothesis and hypothesis is an alternate hypothesis. I mean, whatever you have decided. वो भी हम आगे डिटेल में डिस्कस करेंगे तो वो आप चेंज नहीं कर सकते ना आप कोई प्रोसीजर बीच में चेंज कर सकते हैं ना आप किसी भी तरह से किसी भी एस्पेक्ट को आप क्वांटिटेटिव रिसर्च को बीच में चेंज नहीं कर सकते ओके वेयर इज क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च थिंग्स कैन बी चेंज एज इट मूव्स ऑन लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड लॉन्जिट्यूडनल स्टडीज ethnographies, case studies, these are qualitative researches for long time, longitudinal, that covers the years. They are flexible enough to make changes according to the time period, according to the requirement, according to the participation of the participants and so on. Okay, so we can say that qualitative researches are more flexible as compared to the quantitative researches. <clears throat> Now, here you can see that I have um, clearly shown you the main differences between quantitative and qualitative researches. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, the hypothesis first. Preference of precise hypothesis stated at the outset. Whereas for qualitative research, preference of hypothesis that emerge as the study develops. Basically, these days, uh, hypothesis is written only for COSI experiments and um, uh, and this one. yes, because I experiments and experiments. Okay, whereas in qualitative researches these days, hypotheses are no more required. Okay, but previously it was a concept that uh, quantitative researches involves or require precise hypothesis that the hypothesis should be very clear. Uh, uh, whereas in qualitative researches, hypothesis can be mentioned as the study moves on. Second is preference for precise definition is stated at the outset, whereas in qualitative research preference for definition in context or as the study progresses. Okay, so basically, in quantitative research, you have to define each and every term, each and every theory, or whatever you are planning or doing, you have to mention each and everything in the beginning. Okay, in the beginning of your research, all the things should be clear in your mind in the written form. Whereas in qualitative research, uh, definitions can be given as the uh, study moves on. Just as study karte jate hain, cheeze dekhte jate hain, vaise vaise theories also emerges through qualitative researches, right? Quantitative may usually it's the application of the theory. Whereas in qualitative research, because it is detailed, it is uh, you can say the case studies or ethnographies which lead to some new theories, right? So that's why the definition can be given as the study progresses. <clears throat> Number three point is piloting is very important in it. Now, what is piloting? Basically, piloting is when you have uh, designed a questionnaire, uh, first of all, in order to collect your data. Questionnaire is usually tested on the same participant, I mean, uh, similar participant. Okay, this, for example, you want to collect data from BS4 linguistics, right? And MA linguistics is also studying the same thing, right? Uh, if you want to collect data from BS4 linguistics and their standard or the label is same, then as a test of your questionnaire, you can collect the data from MA linguistics, okay? What will happen is that you will know that your questionnaire 
कितना सही है कितना वैलिड है ऐसा तो नहीं है कि आपको उसमें कोई चीज रिवाइज करने की जरूरत है उस डेटा को आप एनालाइज नहीं करेंगे वो डेटा सिर्फ इसलिए कलेक्ट किया जाता है कि आपको ये पता चले कि आपके क्वेश्चन आपको सही डेटा प्रोवाइड करेगा या नहीं ओके सो दिस इज नोन एज पायलटिंग ओके टेस्टिंग ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन और योर टूल्स बेसिकली ओके एक्चुअल एक्चुअल जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं उन पे आप वो टेस्ट नहीं करते ठीक है उससे तो आप एक्चुअल डेटा आपको कलेक्ट करना होता है विच यू विल डू लेटर ऑन ओके सो कमिंग बैक टू दिस पॉइंट क्वांटिटेटिव रिसर्च इन क्वांटिटेटिव रिसर्च पायलटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है बिकॉज I mean, uh, the data is in the numerical form, and it's uh, uh, usually the closed-ended questionnaire. So it's very important to do piloting in the beginning, before uh, collecting data. Whereas in qualitative research, piloting of the research is not much necessary. So because the tools are usually open-ended and it can be changed, it is more flexible. Definitions, वगैरह भी आप बाद में दे सकते हैं. Hypothesis भी. So it is not uh, required as it is required in quantitative research. ठीक है. अगर piloting नहीं भी करें qualitative research में तो इतने ज़्यादा मतलब ज़रूरत नहीं है कोई मसला नहीं होगा इसमें. Now coming to the next point, that is emphasis or numbers, measurements, controls, and experiments. It is, so emphasizes on numbers, measurements, controls, and experimentation. Okay, everything is in numbers. Whereas in qualitative research, it emphasizes natural settings, observations, verbal narrations, and interpretations. Means you can see that everything is in uh, words, in details. Okay. Next point is that this is a traditional approach in business and economic research, but no more. Uh, I mean, this point is no more valid because social sciences researches can also be done through quantitative research. पहले का ये tradition था, एक idea था लोगों का कि नहीं सिर्फ business और economic के researches हो सकती हैं. But these days, educational researches, social sciences researches means every kind of research can be done uh, under this paradigm, quantitative research. Okay. Whereas qualitative research, it emerged in the mid in 1970s as an approach to educational research. ठीक है प्रीवियसली इट वाज कंसीडर्ड दैट फॉर डूइंग एनी एजुकेशनल रिसर्च क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च टाइप और रिसर्च पैराडाइम कैन बी यूज ओके बट थिंग्स हैव चेंज ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम फ्रॉम सिंस 1970s दिस इज 2021 ओके सो द थिंग्स हैव चेंज अ लॉट सो यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दीस टू मेथड फॉर योर रिसर्च डिजाइन okay so next point is related with the design now if we talk about the design of quantitative research it is much structured predetermined formal and specific okay whereas the design of a qualitative research is evolving flexible and general okay so you can see that this is more structured more formal and specific whereas this is very flexible and very easy to be conducted okay but but the analysis of the data is very difficult in this case qualitative researches whereas in quantitative researches there are easily available softwares which can uh, help you in analyzing the data now if we talk talk about their goals so the goal of the quantitative research is to test theory establish facts show show relationships predict and statistically describe uh the details okay there is a goal of qualitative research is to understand the theory develop understanding describe multiple realities capture naturally occurring behavior okay so this is uh, the difference between the goal of these two uh, research paradigms now talking about the sample of the research this is also very important the sample of quantitative research is usually very large now this large sample means 30 participants or more than 30 participants 30 participants but if you talk about the survey researches then there can be thousands or uh, i mean in lakhs okay the participants can be uh, a huge number okay so that's why because it is quantitative because it is in numbers because it is analyzed through different softwares that's why the data that is collected is usually large in number that is 30 plus 30 or 30 plus Uh, it is more representative now representative means when you are collecting like for example there are 100 uh, participants and you are collecting data from 40 to 50 participants right uh, i mean population population is 
of uh, 100 people and you are collecting the data or your sample is of 50 participants right so it means you can whatever data you are getting you can easily generalize that data on all the uh, the whole population okay that's why it is known as a representative sample okay yani wo sample jo puri population ko represent kar raha hai okay random selection usually when we talk about quantitative researchers then the selection of the participant is usually very random then there are control groups as in case of cosaics uh, sorry as in case of experiments then there are stratified samples as well ye hum sampling types jab discuss karenge to aur further detail mein discuss karenge stratified means in some ratios okay whereas if you talk about the qualitative research sample then it's usually very small because it is more in detail sometimes even one to two people are there jaise case studies hain to usme agar case study aap kisi ek person ki kar rahe hain so there is only one person right why because the data is in too much detail everything is in detail okay so that's why small sample size is there non representative like you can see that i have told you that 50 out of 100 will be a good representation of the uh, i mean the population whereas a uh, one out of 100 is obviously a non representative sample okay and it is purposeful because it uh, usually done for some particular purpose <clears throat> now if we talk about the data then it includes quantities, counts, measures, instruments, numbers, and statistics. Whereas the data of qualitative research includes verbal descriptions, field notes, observations, documents, photographs, people's own words, and relations. Now, the last thing or the most important thing is the method. Now, if we talk about the methods or you can say the designs that can be used in quantitative research includes, first of all, the experiments, then the quasi experiments, surveys, structured interviews, structured observation, structured, why structured? Why? Because uh, it, the data will be collected in close-ended form. It's not in detail. That's why structured interview and structured observation. Structured ob observation is usually in the form of the checklist. Then for qualitative research, it can be observations or open-ended interviewing or review of document. Now, okay, so these are uh, some of the more research designs can be that can be used in uh, qualitative and quantitative researches, right? Uh, in this slide, I have mentioned qual qualitative researches here in this one, in this side, in the left side, and quantitative research on the right hand side. Okay, so ethnographies, as I have previously discussed, is a type of a qualitative research where everything is in detail, and naturalistic and qualitative inquiries are there case study research, grounded theory, historical research, or the documentary research, action research, collaborative research, narrative and biological approaches, evaluation research, qualitative content analysis, uh, ethnomethodology, developmental research, and longitudinal research. These are the types of research designs that can be used for qualitative research. Whereas in quantitative research, surveys, correlational studies, experiment design, because experiments and single case studies, casual comparatives or exposed factor research, cross-sectional research, and descriptive research are some of the types. We are going to discuss all these in details in the next class, okay, when we'll be studying research design. Okay, so that's all for research paradigms. Thank you.